Hey guys, welcome back. Aaron here from Curls on the Rack. Uh, I spent about a month now with the Titan wall-mounted pulley system, and I have some thoughts, some positive, some negative, but before I get into that, let me show you guys a little tip or trick that I did to this to make it so much better. If you remove these rollers, and you can do this even after you've uh, put this together, uh, but you'll notice they're very, uh, they're very stiff. They don't spin very well. That's one... Uh, as is as it came from the from the factory all put together so there's only going to be a little bit of drag on these guys too and then after you take it apart and lube it up they spin like this so that is something i would definitely consider doing uh, you just take it off you pop these little uh, plastic things carefully from each side with a little flathead screwdriver and that Notice it's very, very stiff, but if you just hit it, a little bit of lubricant on both sides, then kind of let it sit for a second, spin it, see, even there, it spins perfectly. All right, guys, so hopefully that tip helped you. Uh, another thing that a few people have hit me up is like, ah, man, the cables are really complicated. How do, how do you guys do that? So I will go ahead and show you that video now. There's, there's two cables that come with it. There's a shorter cable, which is this guy, uh, and it comes with the, the carabiners here. I put this one on. I put the roller on. This one goes up, and it goes through this piece. But I didn't put that piece on first. Uh, I just attached it to the chain and then the chain goes back here, right? So then after I got that piece on, I put this piece together and I put this piece on. Left it sitting over to the side. Then you're left with the gigantic cable, which what I did first was I attached it on this side, take out one of these guys, slip it in, put it back in, and then I attached the other side right here. So now I got those two pieces on there. Next. I went up to the top here and I put it on to the uh, roller up here. So then I took this piece off, put the cable over, had it go down, took this piece off up here, put it back on. So now those both those pieces are going down and they go to either side of these rollers. So you put that on the underside of this roller, screw that one in, do the same thing on the other one. Then they both go up and they stick on to the same side that they were on. Take that piece off, attach that one, and then they go. And then you do the same thing on the other side and then they go and the cable meets in the middle right here. So that is how I did the cables. Hopefully that helps. Okay, now that that fun stuff's out of the way, let's talk part replacement. Uh, unfortunately, when I got the rack, you get a lot of these rollers, and one of them was broken. So I took it apart, it was broken on the inside, it was making a clicking noise, and it was also uh, not rolling smoothly. So I called up Titan, uh, left a message with them. They called me back within an hour. Um, they didn't give me any hassle. They said, oh, so sorry, the part is broken. Go ahead, you don't need to return it or anything. We'll just send you out one. Took two weeks, I got the part. Uh, they actually sent me two of them, which is really cool. So now I got an extra roller just in case something happens to one of these ones. And uh, so on that aspect, I thought the customer service at Titan was pretty good. Another thing I really liked about this is the fact that the cable stretched extremely far. So uh, if you're you know, like most of us and wanna work out in front of a mirror when you're doing your accessory list, like some cable crossovers or whatever it may be, and your mirror's way over here, you will be able to stretch this thing all the way over across the room and still do your accessory list with one cable. So I do really like that. And I don't know, maybe some of you think that's silly and like, why would I ever do that? I'll, I just would probably just like to do it right here, but you never know. So there's another thing I really liked about it. Another thing, and you don't see this a lot of times, even at commercial gyms on um, these guys, is the fact that I can do I can do lifts where I utilize both of my arms, and then when I start to fatigue, 
I can either drop one and it will it will cut the weight in half uh, or I can do you know I can do uh, uh, like bent over rows and then I can just go right into like a single arm bent over row or single arm pull down so you are going to be able to do what essentially would be like a drop set so I thought that was really cool okay so Titan rates this thing at being able to pull 300 pounds I don't know about that because I'm not doing 300 pound bent over rows and uh, the, the biggest lift I did on this thing was calf raises where I would strap a dip belt to it and uh, throw the cable machine down the bottom, strap both hooks on and then just sort of stand on the lip here, uh, which actually worked pretty well. I, I, really, uh, I really felt the, I, th I thought that was the best, one of the best lifts I've done on this thing. Um, do I recommend it for doing heavy lifts? No. More like accessory lifts, you know, uh, 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 you'll see in the end, I'll do a bunch of, uh, a bunch of exercises with it, but do I recommend it and do I think it will hold 300 pounds? No, because what happened when, when I did the calf raises, I, uh, the rubber shielding ripped a little bit, as you can see there. Uh, so over time, it's just going to fray. I uh, actually put another warranty claim into Titan and uh, ho hopefully, and I will assume that they're going to send me another cable and I don't think I'm going to go that heavy on this thing anymore. So 300 pounds, probably not. Plus you have no way to anchor yourself to the floor. Uh, I'm actually going to hit up a buddy of mine and if, uh, if I get another an enough likes or uh, enough comments saying please make that thing uh, I got a buddy that's really good at woodworking so we're gonna we're gonna make some sort of mount that you can put your legs underneath and throw some plates on the side and be able to be mounted to the floor to do pull downs all right guys so to sum it all up would I buy this thing again yes I would 150 160 dollars for a pulley system that you can put in your garage to do accessory with that's perfect plus you know that if something goes wrong with it as you've seen, I've gotten replacement parts for this for free from Titan. Uh, if something else goes wrong, I'm gonna hit them up. I'm gonna hit them up uh, about the cable. So uh, yeah, I would definitely buy this thing again. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully I helped you guys out with some tips or tricks that you can do this thing to make it a little bit better. Um, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm gonna have more product reviews coming soon. Um, we also have free workout program at our website, www.curlsintherack.com. So go there, check it out, go to the workout page. Um, if you want this shirt, you can go there and get that. Uh, also stick around at the end of the video. And if you want to see a montage of my fat ass doing some, uh, work on this thing, peace.